All right, been doing a little load testing on my batteries and knocked them down 12.74. <laughs> so it took almost two hours of running a uh, electric 12 volt heater on them to do that. So it, uh, uh, 400 watt 12 volt heater, pretty good. Now we've got these two inverters, this one here and this one here. These are the Meanwell True Sine Wave and the N Power uh, Modified Digital, which is a 14-step. Um, uh, so I don't know what the hell they describe that as, but it's kind kind of smooth. Actually, your refrigerator run good on it. So what we've got is we've got a board here. Right now it's just standing up, just propped, and it's going to have be mounted to the back, come up like a sign board. And it has four tube of fours on it, and it is going to be mounted solid, and we're going to be mounting these. Now, if you notice the orientation, we have nice title and name, nice title and name on them. They're lined out perfect, but their polarity, their polarity is directly opposed from each other. That kind of nice. So when we come up out of here, we're going to come up out of here and put those big clamps right up here on the top and then a fuse going to each one of these on their positives. So each one of these will have, one of them has a two, uh, 300, a 250, and the other one has a 300 fuse on them. I don't intend on running these to their maximum potential. This one will run, I believe, right at about 260 amps and, and uh, its maximum potential, but I don't want to. So we're setting up right now for installing those. Let's get the next step, and I'm going to get you uh, the board mounted and see what they look like sitting up there. All right, so now what we have is we have all of these mounted on the back, going down into the subframe there and the upper midframe here, all two to six framed, very solid, even some screws coming in the plywood in the back. So pretty stout, pretty strong, and let's get over here and get the rest of the inverter parts put together. All right, now my inverters have been mounted so you can see what they look like nice big ones this system will run it without a doubt but i've been running a system very similar but a little smaller on the same stuff so here's the big mean well ts3000 it's kind of a kind of a big inverter for what it's worth there is the end power there as we showed in the beginning of the video and right now what we're putting is we're using this aluminum just as a clamping mechanism. So the copper will run through it and be clamped. And, and if you look at some of my other videos, uh, six years, no corrosion, no failures, no burns, no losses, using the same stuff, running that thing there, hitting a max out peak to blow 400 amp fuses, didn't hurt this. So. That's what we're using. In fact, that's even a little bigger gauge than what I used on that inverter there previously. So this is what we're using. We'll probably be running a, a solid fold over copper up to this one and the same over to this one. So we get full access to all our amps. All right, so now we have them mounted. This is, this is the ground and this is the hot, the positive. And as you can see up in here, it's even got screws going into the wood here. This is extremely stout. It's not going anywhere. Is it on the wood? Yes, it's on the wood. <laughs> so right now it's just being mocked up because it will be getting mounted, isolated on that piece. But we have to do a mock up first and that's what we're working with. So I've got to cut a piece of this red stuff that will, that it will now be mounted on and then the red will be screwed to it so it's an isolated barrier. So even, even if there was electrical possibilities in this paint or in the sap of this wood, it will be eliminated. So this is the end of the video showing you how this is going to be built and designed. I hope that helps anybody who has any questions. You can look at some of my other videos about how this got wired up, why it's wired up that way, why at $1,000, $500, we are staying 12 volt and not spending more money on inverters. 
this is what we have this is what we're working with this powers all my tools in my shop i don't use 50 of them at once works perfect this powers all my refrigerators freezers and everything else including electronics i don't run 300 items 6,000 watts, 7,000, 7,000 watts, because that's really a 4,000. It's all I got to have, guys.